This is the old man on UTM Scare. This story is about a man and his friend. Wow, I like the looks of this small town. It's a perfect place for me to get away and finish my book. Hmm, the Ink Inn. What a perfect name. It must be fate. Hello, would you have a room available? Yes, how long are you thinking of staying? We have rooms by the night, by the weekend, or over the month. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I'm here until I finish my book. I'm stuck, and I thought it would be a perfect place to get out of writer's block. So, I guess I'll pay by the week. Hello there, youngster. New here in town? Why, hello there, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. My name is Josh. What's yours? My name is Francis. I'm a writer, too. Wow, I'm a writer too. I see you have a chess board. Would you like to play a game of chess? Sure. Let me go get my stuff and put it away. I'll be right back. There, all set. So, Francis, what do you write about? Nothing now. I am what you may say is retard. But when I did, I wrote about adventure stories. Wow, me too. What's the chance? But right now, I seem to have a bad case of writer's block. I know how that feels. You might say I've had a dead end with my last book, too. Check your move. That was part one of The Old Man on GTM Scare. Now time for a commercial break. Jaffa Cakes, the wonderful biscuit treat. Pick up your Jaffa Cakes today. Now back to The Old Man on GTM Scare. I'm almost to my book. Being here and talking to you has been great, Francis. I just can't seem to find an ending. Would you mind reading it over, Francis, and telling me what you think? You can be my ghostwriter. I'd be honored to, Josh. Great. Thanks. Checkmate, by the way. See you later tonight. You did do good for me, Josh. That night. Well, old time, what do you think? It was very interesting. I suggested something for your ending. I scribbled it down in the margins. Great. I appreciate it, Francis. It means a lot that someone cares. I enjoyed it. I feel a sense of accomplishment myself. If you excuse me, I'm, I'm now feeling awfully tired. This is great stuff. Thanks. You deserve rest. I'm going to go type this up and email it to my agent. Hello? Hey, Josh. Guess what? What? Your book is a hit. Scholastic wants to publish it right away. You need to get here right now to sign the papers. Wow, how did you manage that? I showed it to them, and they were very excited, especially the end day. How did you come up with that idea? With a little help from a friend. Okay, see you in the morning. Sure thing. Thanks, bye. I wonder if Francis is still there. Hey, Francis! Hmm, where did he go? Oh, well, I have to go pack up. Now time for commercial. If you're playing to win, here's a brand new soap for you. Nope, I was wrong. This is a commercial for fruit. Nope, I was right. It's a really weird commercial for soap. It's been a crazy few months. My book tour has been exhausting. I'm here at the Ankin. I can hardly wait to see Francis. That's strange. He's not on the porch. He's always on the porch. Hi, do you know where the old man who practically lives on the porch playing chess is? I'm sorry, sir. I don't know who you're talking about. We don't have any older guests here, and we certainly have none that sit outside front playing chess. I ought to know. I am the manager, after all. You know, he sits on the porch. I think he lives in room 225. Old guy, short, white hair, thin guy. Are you trying to be funny? What do you mean? You just described Francis Edwards. I think they said he had a heart attack in the hall while playing chess. He died on the front porch 50 years ago or so. He was writing his last book. He died just before it was finished. Then why was he talking to me like a few months ago? I don't know. I thought he was dead. Maybe it was his ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Wherever you are, Francis, thank you. I guess we both finished our book. I hope you enjoyed the story, The Old Man on GTM Scare. I guess Francis really was a ghost writer. Mwah, ah, 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 ah.